breaking cycles life now for today's encouragement we're going to the book of second corinthians and it's chapter 4 verses 16 to 18 yes it's a pretty long reading today okay so let me read for you it says therefore we do not lose heart even though our outward man is perishing yet the inward man is being renewed day by day for our light affliction which is but for a moment is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory while we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Wow. This actually really does speak to speak, speak for itself because it's God reminding us that the trials we go through in on earth while we are traveling this earth, um, they are just for a moment. It seems like they're for eternity trust me i understand it seems like they're for eternity and like why is it that i have to go through this like why right that's chinese for why right so it's like god is reminding us like guys just to push through because all of this trial all of these afflictions that you are getting at this point is just training ground and to prepare you for a better life which is eternal life with him right and it's actually forming our character so that once we enter heaven it's gonna be like wow this was all worth it you know because because we won't have to deal with sin anymore and everyone who will be in heaven will be content contentment is a big thing guys um will be content with whatever they have and there won't be any more jealousy there won't be any more pride just a nice peaceful loving atmosphere and that is heaven and all the trials that we go through every every encounter with the wrong person or with the right person would have been worth it because the eternal glory would be seen by spending our lives with God, right? Now, let me bring it back to earth a bit <laughs> and uh, and just give an overview. I won't necessarily go in details as I always don't. I'm sorry, guys. I'm on the secretive side of life. So, yes. But anyways, um, I'm going to give an overview like how an affliction that I went through kind of prepared me for my current situation right <laughs> so um i told you yesterday that i am in med school right and uh, my second year um of china which was 2018 2019 academic year i was in the other city Remember, I spent two years in the other city and then I came here in 2019 in this city to start medical school. So in my second year in the other city, guys, I was teaching middle school. I, I, I was teaching the babies from the first year, but then they gave me a middle school class no they gave me all the middle school classes to teach right so I was like, okay let me go and teach these teenagers Whew. oh boy these, these these children right and if i've told you already i love children and children are dear to me so from baby stage all the way up to let's say 16 17 i like like i really like children right i like children and teenagers yes i like them so um because my chinese wasn't good at the time 
still need some improvement though but anyways my because my chinese wasn't good at the time um i you know basically they don't like me as i told you before because of my skin right and uh, you have in the teenage years trying to understand them you know you have the one person that would probably not like the teacher and then you have everyone else following because that person is popular right so i was now the talk of the town and uh, these children literally went hard and i mean went hard like speaking in front of my face talking back to me in chinese as if i didn't understand but they didn't know <laughs> that my listening is very good so when i listen to them i'm like okay mm -hmm. so you're saying that i just stepped out of the class after like after class i'm like okay so i heard this and i went and i googled it and yes guys it was exactly what they said like honestly and they kept this up for almost a month literally talking back at me and behaving the worst right and i was like so and guys this actually left me in tears a few times because i'm like wow children are so evil like that's the word that i had that i had in my mind because like no and all of this was while i was doing chemistry so i was studying online working and dealing with this issue at school with these children and i had to go to work come home cry and then take out my book and study honestly <laughs> like it just had to happen because i couldn't fail my i couldn't fail my course and i had to face these children every day and i mean talk of the tone like once they they really spread a lot of rumors about me and i'm like and i had to go in front of them and teach them and act as if everything is okay and then step out <laughs> go home and cry <laughs> uh-huh that that's basically it honestly and that happened for like a good two three weeks until i was like you know what let me go to one of these chinese teachers and i'm like i went to her the english teacher who's chinese i told her like okay your children are saying this about me this is this is this and they're saying it in chinese and they think i'm not understanding they think i can't read context clues they think I'm an idiot apparently because they can say anything in front of my face in Chinese and think that I'm not going I'm just going to I'm just going to be blind and oblivious to it that I'm not going to research it because clearly stupidity is written across my face and she was shocked she was shocked because she was like they're saying this and this I'm like yes your children your teenagers all my classes are doing that and you know one of the things that actually confirmed that they were saying these things guys their actions then for the nice ones the nice students that i had whenever someone would make a joke in that regard whenever someone would make a joke in that regard guys you would see a mature student tell them to be quiet in chinese tell them to stop doing things and get angry with them right and then after i brought the issue to the teacher and she spoke to the entire grade the entire seventh and eighth grade of students the next time i stepped into their classes everyone was silent and they were staring at me as if i can't believe for two three weeks we've been mocking this lady we've been talking about her bad in front of her face and she just stood there and observed everything and said nothing and she understood what we were saying like they were just shocked like they were appalled and i was like because mm -hmm. you think i'm an idiot like really 
and it just it just goes to show guys that wow that trial that i went through the fact that i had to the fact that i had to deal with that at school and it was definitely it was definitely taxing on me to try and forget it to study my usual four hours per night after work four hours per night sleep get up go to work deal with them come back from school come back from work do my course and then repeat right like i had to consistently do that and i was like wow and i remembered my friend said to me she was here with me at the time she was in another city she's like you know Shanique, yes i know these students are are being very rude and disrespectful to you but look at it as god preparing you for medical school because if uh, because medical school won't be easy and it will be taxing on your emotional health mental health every sort of taxing that there could be medical school will definitely bring that to you and uh, honestly guys she was right like medical school is not a joke and <laughs> The amount of things that I've had to handle while just doing the first two years um, of medical school. It's like, when will it stop, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, when will it stop? Like, I'm already dealing with these subjects. Like, why are my situation? Why is it that the situations around me are adding to the stress that I'm already dealing with? with medical school and just studying the subject on its own because i'm telling you especially in 2020 guys i i sat down december 31st right before the clock struck midnight and i sat in my apartment this apartment here and i looked through the window and i said you know this year you really tested me god like you re like you literally tore me to pieces this year because the amount of things that I had to deal with in 2020. I was like, mm -mm, this is not normal for any human being on earth. It's not normal. <laughs> like, it's like from one end and the next end, like you're just dealing with a lot of things. And I'm like, I'm just one person. Why? <laughs> like, why? I already have to deal with school and learning these subjects that I don't even have that much of a background in because I was not a medical, I wasn't a science student from a very long time, from, from high school because I didn't get the adequate training that most of my classmates got because they actually knew they wanted to be doctors. I just came into medicine because you told me to. And it's now in doing it that I'm realizing, oh, I actually like this. I actually want to do it. It's, you know, I'm like, how many things can one human handle? Like, honestly, don't you think I'm dealing with enough? <laughs> and it just goes to show that all of this, all of like all of that that I was handling that I was handling even last year and still handling while going through medical school I actually got preparation for it from back then because I'm looking and I'm like wow how would I have known to learn to learn to handle my emotions and still study while while being afflicted basically while being mocked while while dealing with crying like you just gotta cry and then go study right how would i have known that if i didn't get that light affliction back then right so and it's actually for my betterment because in these afflictions guys i've learned a lot about myself and just learning to improve myself as a human being and just being a better christian overall honestly being a better christian overall and that is god shaping my character and preparing me for heaven because that is the goal right as a christian to get to heaven and it just goes to show 
that these trials that we go through guys they're taxing and some trials are even greater than others some people may endure far greater trials than some and yes it does seem unfair trust me i even say it to god i'm like you're unfair to me honestly because i know people that they live their life like ah, and i'm here struggling like ah, why <laughs> but it's okay um it's preparing me i guess for something that i'm not sure fully as yet but I can do, I can attest to the fact that 2018, those, 2018 with those kids really prepared me for medical school because it's not a joke and all the emotional things that I've had to deal with since medical school. Yeah. So guys, these afflictions that we get, they're just for a moment and it will work out for your good. And in the end, it will be for our eternal glory. Because the things which are seen are temporary, guys. All this trouble, all, all, all the pain that we're enduring now, they're just for a moment. And these are the ones that we can see. But our character being formed and the fact that God is recreating, recreating his image in us is not seen. It can be felt sometimes. And then sometimes it's not felt because we feel like, okay, we are, we're not worthy of his grace and everything. But he is, he is definitely preparing us for things which are not seen and that is heaven and spending eternity with him, right? So guys, this is my encouragement to you that regardless of what you're going through, God is preparing you for something greater. Could be pre preparation for a greater trial, <laughs> like my case. Or, and not only preparation for a greater trial, but also preparation for heaven. And it's just for a moment. It seems like it's forever, but it's just for a moment, guys. And be encouraged that it's just for a moment and what is not seen will be far more worth it than the trial that we are seeing right now, okay? So as you go about your day, be reminded that it's just for a moment. These trials are just for the moment and it will work out for your good. And the ultimate good is spending eternity with God, okay? So have a great day, guys. Bye.